Aidan O'Rourke certainly is passionate about his city. You'll often see him walking around photographing people and places. It's an interest he's had since a boy. Uh, well, I, I first got interested in the city when I was uh, in primary school and I did um, a project when I was aged about seven on Manchester's buildings. There have been so many changes in Manchester since I was a schoolboy growing up in the 1960s that it's virtually a different city today to what it was then. Ten years ago, Aidan set up a website called Eyewitness in Manchester, which he started off when he worked abroad and desperately missed his beloved Manchester. During that time, I be became more and more homesick for Manchester. The longer it went on, the more I desperately wanted to see my home city. Aidan took us to what was Piccadilly Gardens, an area which maybe hasn't developed as well as he'd liked. My memories of Piccadilly as, as a child, that it, it was the pride of Manchester. It was a wonderful space, one of the largest gardens in, in any British city. And then Manchester City Council came up with a plan to regenerate the gardens, but it included the construction of an office block at the Portland Street end. But that regeneration also included this controversial piece of urban sculpture designed by Tad Dow Ando. And yes, it is finished. The concrete walls that he's done in other locations, like in California, I think work very well. But in a place like Manchester, with a climate like Manchester, like on a day like today, I don't think concrete works very well as a material. So what is Aidan's solution? OK, well, this is what I think they should do with Piccadilly. Move number one Piccadilly to a new location, maybe Sulphur Keys or Hume. Move the pavilion to maybe Withinshaw Park or Crumpsall Park. And move the concrete wall uh, to the same place so that we have an open square. Uh, move the fountains to the middle of the park, which is now an open area, and then build a new garden centred on the fountains. And from the urban sprawl of Piccadilly Gardens to somewhere a bit more peaceful. This is one of my favourite parts of Manchester, I think one of the most significant spots in Manchester, where there were flagstones laid out flat. Local residents have got together and have uh, brought about the redevelopment of the park and they've turned the place into a pleasant area. Then Aidan and I walked back towards the city centre. This is a very interesting example of the transformation of Manchester, for the better, I believe. Uh, this was previously a car park. Uh, before that, the Lancaster Arcade was on this site. And then Manchester City Council came up with the idea of having Urbis. And now this uh, quite remarkable modern building, uh, unique in the world, has appeared on the site, which most people agree is quite spectacular. Today's Manchester is, is, is so different. It's much brighter than it was, uh, more modern. Many older buildings in Manchester have been reused, have been renovated. I think that more of the older buildings should have been reused. We've lost too many of them. I decided to go back to many of the locations that I'd photographed to see what had changed in Ancoats. When I took the, the old mills, you could see regeneration was taking place. Uh, another one I found quite amusing was the, the old Gorton Levensview boundary marker sign on Stockport Road, Levensview, and it was dilapidated, letters hanging off. I went back a few years later to find a satellite dish had been put up in front of the sign, and that had been the only change.